So this is probably the coolest, or at least one of the coolest items I have in my collection. Um, and I understand that if it was in your collection, maybe it is. Uh, maybe it's not one of the coolest items you have in your Halloween collection, but for me it is. And I think it's primarily because I'm not a comic book collector. I'm not a comic book guy, as a lot of you guys know. I've never collected comics. I've never purchased a comic. Um, I don't even think I've read a comic from cover to cover. Uh, I mean, maybe I flipped through one when I was a kid, but I just never got into it. That being said, I really do appreciate comics and I appreciate all the uh, all the comic book artists and writers out there and collectors. I think comics are pretty cool. I just never got into them for whatever reason. So needless to say, this is the only comic I have in my possession and this was given to me by Mickey Yablons. Mickey Yablons, of course, is the son of Erwin Yablons. Uh, Mickey played Little Richie in the original Halloween and I was fortunate enough about three years or so ago to have dinner with Mickey and his wife and his son Jack um, at their home in Los Angeles. And after dinner, he excused himself and he went upstairs and he was upstairs for about, I don't know, five minutes or so. And then he came back down with a bunch of Halloween stuff. And this was one of the things he came down with and he gave it to me, which was really awesome. And I've kept it in pretty close to mint condition. Uh, it's fantastic. It's in fantastic shape. And as you can see, it's uh, number one up there. It's, it's part of a three comic book series, I think, or three comics in the series. Um, and he worked on this. I, I forget what he did. Uh, I forget if it, if it was some of the writing or something. Forgive me, I, I, I can't quite remember. So if you know, feel free to chime in in the comments below. But it's really cool. And um, it's a, I don't even know if you can get these in store anymore. I don't think you can. I think you can get them on eBay for a pretty penny. But this is issue number one, like I said. And there's three issues. That's the word I was looking for, issues. Three issues in this series. And uh, the info comes to us here from, uh, this website is halloweenmovie.fandom.com and it's the Chaos, Comic Hallo Chaos Comics Halloween series. And it says here, the comic series Halloween, also known as Untold Tales of Halloween, uh, was published in the years 2000 and 2001 by Chaos Comics. The events from these issues take place sometime after those of Halloween the Curse of Michael Myers, but also feature flashbacks to the original Halloween, as well as chronicling the early years of Michael Myers following the 1963 stabbing of his sister Judith. Taking place in the 4-6 to six timeline, the series attempts to connect said timeline with the H2O film's events, having been published before Halloween Resurrection's release. Pretty cool indeed. And of course, if I go down here, issue number one, this is the issue that I have, as you can see. And uh, this is what it says about this issue. It says, Halloween features the return of Tommy Doyle, who obtains the private journal of Dr. Sam Loomis. The journal contains the complete story of Michael Myers' stay at Smith's Grove, Warren County Sanitarium. After Michael witnesses Tommy Doyle receiving the journal, he proceeds to stalk him. Fascinating. Let's take a look inside. All right, so uh, yeah, here's the, the comic. That's the back. Rue Morgue Magazine, Canada's premier. Oh yeah, I forgot they were Canadian. Very cool. So let's uh, let's take a look inside, shall we? Ooh, what do we got here? What does it say? It says, Mr. Doyle, Michael Cyphers from County Records. Yes, I, I I found the Loomis files you're looking for. Outstanding. When can I pick them up? Tommy sounds like Marty McFly. Uh, come by this evening if you want. I'll be working late. Great. I'll see you in a couple of hours. Perfect. With Dr. Loomis's notes, I can make this book fly. And maybe unearth some Myers family secrets. Hmm. <laughs> he looks like he's deep in thought. Doyle better show up soon. It's been a long day. He's one twisted, obsessive son of a bitch. This material's so morbid. Who wants to write a book about a mass murder anyway? Jesus! Who wants to look at crime scene photos? November 5th, 1963. I met Michael for the first time today. I'd been told there was nothing left. That's really cool. That would be a cool, like, prop to have, you know? And it's, it's like, full of all sorts of, like, stories and stuff. 
like it doesn't have to be canon, but I mean, it would be, you know, I'd be, I gotta admit, that'd be, a, that'd be a cool prop to have. That'd be a cool little item to put on the shelf, even if there was nothing in it. It was just full of blank pages. Just that, it, that in and of itself, I think would be cool. Ooh, looks like Michael's coming out of the shadows. Yep, he's coming out of the shadows. That's a terrifying face. Oh, and then Tommy must show up here. He's nowhere to be around. Ooh, that must be Judith. <laughs> Take off that thing. Let's go upstairs. Okay, are you going to last longer than 38 seconds? I'll try, baby. I'll try. <laughs> oh, there's Deborah Hill's hand. Oh, no. Will you call me tomorrow? Yeah, sure. Promise? Yeah, I'm just a little embarrassed I lasted 28 tonight. What a stooge. La -da -da, da -da -da -da. Look at that, he even got cartoon side boob. <laughs> yeah, like... The artist has done a good job. I like how it's um I like how it's stylized. It's kind of cool. Oh, okay. I guess then we move away from the flashback, I guess or whatever to present day again. Oh, there. <laughs> There's Michael just <laughs> hanging out hanging out in the corner. Really cool. Oh, there he is. He's a goner. Anyway, I mean, I could flip through the whole bloody comic here, but that would take quite a while, quite a while. And I'm holding my phone with my hand, so it's a little awkward. But uh, you get the idea. You get the idea. It's really cool stuff. See, there's Dr. Loomis there. That's cool. Very cool indeed. So, um, yeah, there's three issues in this little series here. And uh, if you're interested, I'm pretty sure there's people selling them on eBay. I'm not familiar with the other two issues. I'm just familiar with this one. <laughs> oh, my God. What is going on here? What is happening here? I don't know, folks. I don't know. But if you want to find out. You better get yourself on eBay, on eBay, and uh, and maybe pick up this issue. Pretty cool stuff indeed. Very cool. Anyways, that's gonna do it for me. Uh, comment below and let me know your thoughts. Maybe you have this comic, and maybe you've read it, and maybe you have read the other two issues in the series. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this and any other sort of like you know Halloween comic booky type stuff. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I definitely like the illustrations. I like how it's stylized and and uh, it's cool. Very cool indeed. All right, folks, that'll do it for me. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.